On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, getting the most out of each and every motion background with ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I show you how to use software in the church to get um, more value or to accomplish your mission better. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. And I'd love for you to join the conversation. So if you have any questions or comments, head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com contact or when you're watching the video, just leave a comment below. That's perfectly acceptable. If you're more of an email person, you can drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or uh, always hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P A U L A L A N C L I F. And that's a great way to interact as well. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. Okay, so I thought that I would show you how to get the most out of a motion background, like, for example, a subscription to churchmotiongraphics.com. Now, Jeff over there does a really good job. In fact, this is one of his. Uh, this is the free one for November. I really encourage you to subscribe because it's only $10 a month, and really that's like two lattes if you drink coffee at Starbucks. So it's really inexpensive. I, I don't know how he gets away with having it as cheap as he does. But let's say that even with getting several every month, your congregation gets tired of them. Well, just a simple tweak in ProPresenter 5 can bring new life to these. So this is the November one, and... In November, we think of holidays, so let me show you a couple of things to take this blue-green background and make it perhaps a little bit more festive. So let's start by right-clicking on it here in the Backgrounds bin, and we'll click on Media Properties, and this is what we have. Well, the first thing that we can do is we can slow it down by going to Play right here, and here I'm going to play to show you just what that does. So now we've got it down much slower. And let's speed it up remarkably. So if I do that, you'll see how it goes much more quickly. So you can really match the song based on the speed of this motion background. But that's not the only thing you can do. When I think of November, I'm thinking of like browns. So let's see if we can't uh, do some stuff to it. So we could just add the sepia tone right here and make it browner. But I actually want to tweak that here. So let's go into color filter. And I'm going to click on that, that brown, which is actually... That's a little orangish brown. Maybe the saturation is a little high. I can now pull the saturation down and it becomes a little bit better color for what I have in mind. Now let's say that I like that and all, but wouldn't it be great if I could blur it a little bit? Well, just do like that. And now when we do that, we just get this nice abstract kind of translucent effect like you're looking through a shower uh, door uh, like you you know that kind of smoked glass look well let's do that here with this edge blur and let me show you what it does so if I turn that all the way up and then mess with the radius you can see that the farther I go the more blurry it is around the edge, it kind of creates like a vignette effect. And I can 
pull that down so it's pretty sharp in the center but really blurry around the edge and I can even crank that up a little bit more so that's some of the stuff that I could do right there but you know maybe I want to use this into the Christmas season wouldn't it be great if that was green instead well no problem we just go up to color filter click on green and we've got that but what if we think that actually we want a happier green like a much more saturated green like a yellowish green there we go but oh, man you know that almost looks like a Christmas tree but here let me turn off the blurring but it's upside down wouldn't it be great if it was right side up flip vertical right there and now it's a festive Christmas tree green background. Now if instead we want to go with something with perhaps a little more red in it. Red's also a good Christmas color. So let's uh, pop back over here again. Go to color filter once again and let's select the red. Now I don't know about you but I think that's too red so I'm going to pull down the saturation here make it a very muted red so I can do that and I can also tweak the hue in here so I can go in here and it's now a reddish pink like a almost a magenta so I think that that's a really cool thing and remember that the original look like this so I've done a lot to it I could add my edge blur again and once I do that it looks like a totally different background now you wouldn't play those back to back of course but in on two different weeks people would not know that they're the same so you can do that in Pro Presenter really easily of course you can do it in After Effects Final Cut Pro uh, one of the Cool things that I've learned recently is you can actually do it in Photoshop so you could even layer a couple of different colors on top of that and use a mask in Photoshop and export that out and get something really cool all just by using this as a basis for doing this and really Jeff has done most of the work because creating a motion background is not a small task and he's created it and then you can tweak it to use it like crazy so the kids program can use the same one as the youth can use as the college students as the main service can and they will all look different if you just spend a little time tweaking them and basically for your ten dollar subscription you're actually getting a few hundred dollars worth of backgrounds each and every month so I really want to encourage you to go with something like church motion graphics or uh, with something else just I thought that it would be really interesting to take a look at what you can do with just a simple background and how you can change that to something completely different. Well, I hope that helps you. I hope that it helps you and your church and what you're trying to accomplish. If you would just do me the honor of subscribing to this channel, either in YouTube or by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. That's a great way to get the content delivered automatically and know when I release a new video, which tends to be fairly often. I do these Monday through Friday every week. Also, if you really, really, really like the show, now I don't want you to do this if you, if you don't like it, but if you do, share it with a friend. If you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up, comment, etc. These are great ways to help the show. And until next week, I hope that you'll use this information to go out and change eternity. Until then, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.